guys. Today is a torture test in the high point, full size 45. Cover that bad boy. A little look in the trigger. Oh, oh. Got a failure. Uh -oh. You guys, if you have any video ideas you'd like for me to do, leave it in the comment section below. Welcome back to Point Blank. I'm Heather, and today it's all about the high point. I have a full size 45 high point that I'm gonna torture test. Well, let me show you this little beauty here. It's big and bulky. Look at this thing. Nice. You know, if you would have walked into the gun shop just like I did, you would have had to snatch this thing up for the whole $100 that I paid for it. Look at the beautiful Cerakote job on it. You know, patriotic, red, white, and blue, the stars. Just kidding, it's duct tape or vinyl wrap. And I didn't notice that until I got it home. <laughs> the gun shop, I do have to give them credit. They did make it look beautiful underneath those lights and everything. But anyways, today is a torture test in the high point, full size 45. I have a couple things I wanna run it through to see if it'll keep on ticking. First thing that I wanna do is show you the weight difference of it. I have my full size Smith & Wesson M&P 45. I wanna show you the weight of it. When people say that the high point is big and bulky and heavy, I'm gonna show you just how heavy it is. The Smith & Wesson unloaded, full size, weighs one pound, 13 ounces. All right, boys and girls, get ready for this. Here is the high point, which is made from a zinc alloy material. Come up here, you gotta see this. Yes, that's right, two pounds. This gun unloaded two pounds in 15 ounces. That is crazy. A whole pound heavier than the Smith & Wesson 45, which is made from, is machined from a steel. You know, the slide is nice and small because it's machined from steel. I've never shot the 45 yet, the high point, so we're gonna see, we're just gonna see if it even functions before we start to do it through the torture test. A few moments later. All right, okay. Somebody all, somebody tactical that thing oh, out. Oh, it's tactical the hell out. All right, just shooting it down right, just to make sure that it is functioning. All right, all operational, heavy as hell. First up is the dirt test. This is the same dirt, which is powdery and sandy, that caused problems for our Glock torture test and the dagger test. If you wanna see how the Glock and the dagger did in the dirt test, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Uh, the reason why I don't think our high point is gonna have too much of an issue with it is the way that the slide is built onto the gun, how it goes onto the firearm. It encases the whole frame. So it goes over the frame of the gun where your typical firearms that has the slide has this little gap right here that the sand just gets down and cakes in there. So it has a little bit of more work to get up underneath the, the slide in the frame. So let's go ahead and set this heavy high point in the dirt. Mush it in there. Sprinkle a little bit over the top, just like we did with the other two. Oh, look, it's already kicked in there. I don't know. Okay. Cover that bad boy. A little look in the trigger guard. I don't know how it's going to handle it on trigger. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Good shake. Oh. The sand in those guns does not sound pretty. I'm gonna just put two rounds. Whenever we're doing with the dirt, I can feel it go down my shirt. Okay, two rounds downrange, the high point, 45, <laughs> two pound gun, literally. Oh, look at it. It cycled it. We're gonna do, let me just add a couple more in there just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. Can you, can you hear it grind as I was put with those rounds in there? It's like sandpaper. Okay, let's do this again. Man, you really, really have to pull that slide back to chamber it. Five rounds, down range. Oh, I can feel the trigger not wanting to go back. 
I felt the trigger not want to reset. So. Didn't the trigger on the dagger and the Glock have problems though? Yes, all that little area, all those little parts in there. Yeah, it was definitely did not want to reset. It took more time to reset. Okay. Hundred dollar high point for the win. So far, man. Uh, <laughs> it, look at I mean, all the dirt. I would never carry that thing. Come on. Uh, but they're big, bulky, cheap, and heavy. But they are dependable in a lot of ways. I did get sand in there. Look how much is sitting on the table. It, You've seen some of those in your classes. Have they ever failed? They worked every single time. So when a high point comes through, I just just admire the bulky heaviness of it. So the <laughs> next test. Cover it real good with the sand. Cover it. Oh, okay. Real good. Well, is that fair, though? Because we didn't do the dagger and the Glock again. Uh, you really have to crank this slide back. <clears throat> okay. Just to make you happy, one more time. One more time. If it runs five rounds after a second dirt bath, I will call it the winner. The winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. Oh. I eat dirt. I do have the magazine out, so let me wrap, load my mag up. Five rounds. Tap the dirt out of the mag well. <laughs> oh my God. Want this? Look. I can't even see out of my sights anymore. Okay. You're gonna have to knock that dirt out of there to rack it though. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel that going in my watch and everything. Look, okay, five rounds. Oh my goodness. Okay, five rounds down range. Please don't fail me now. I eat dirt. <laughs> Sand is on the menu for lunch. You saw it all is, the sand. You racked it with sand all in. You oh saw it. Oh my goodness. You saw I'm, the sand there. Oh my <laughs> And I had sand in the magwell. Oh so. my goodness. High point for the wind in the dirt bath. Look, wow. you can still see sand in, uh, along the, the rail. Wow, does the trigger feel gritty? Still? Oh yeah, it's, it's super gritty. So the trigger feels gritty, but it, the Glock and the dagger both did not do as well as that. Yeah, no, this is. That's crazy, and you racked it with, <laughs> I a, didn't bunch rack of, it. Was with a, a bunch, bunch of bunch. sand in there to get it in there. Yeah. Wow. Should we do it again one more time? No Two more way. rounds, no? It, it Two can't more rounds, work. let's go. Oh, wow. Two no. more rounds. If you're gonna do it, uh, yeah, five rounds. Five round it, all right. Three dirt Three, baths, oh my four, goodness. Five. I wasn't expecting to spend this much time running this gun through the sand, but it is really quite interesting. I wasn't expecting it to work. Okay. Well, holy smokes. Okay. Wow. Here we go. This is so unfair though. That's okay, it's three, a high point. <laughs> three dirt baths. I, you know, I You're should just be contacted by the high point marketing You're department. You're asking too much of that. High point, if you need somebody to market your guns, here I am, I'm your girl. All right, okay, here we go. I can't even tell you what model it is because it's covered up by duct tape. It's just the 45, <laughs> just the we'll 45. just call it the HP 45. <laughs> That's our go. model de designation. Oh gosh. Okay. Again, you're, you're just No, listen, I want there. you to listen. Okay. Oh There's sand, goodness. sand. Now listen as I put this magazine in. Can you oh. hear that? Can you hear oh, it? Oh my goodness. Let me bring it up to the microphone. Oh. Oh God. Okay. Sand just shot out the barrel when you did that. <laughs> All right. I know that's no not way. the way you're supposed to you know rack the gun, but that's the you only way what? I can do it on this gun. You didn't even put oil in that gun. We I, bought that used from the from the pond, uh, the gun store. Gun from the gun store right out to the out to the range. That is insane. Okay. I can't if it does this, uh, 15 rounds without a problem in the sand, three sand bass. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Down range, five rounds again. Oh, 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 we got a failure. Uh -oh. oh, I just had, look, I just popped. Okay, you just tapped it. So just we had our first slide. failure, failed to, failed to feed. And there we go. 
Okay, but just it was one. Able to continue. One failed to feed. You just tapped the back of the slide and it finished. Just tapped it. That's after the third, the third dirt bath. Okay. That just, thing skunked the Glock and the dagger. Just in, in the dirt test. It I have rinsed my mouth them. out. Okay. It skunked them. That was pretty amazing. I that was that was a lot of fun. Okay. Next thing I think we should do is strap it up to the go kart and run it through the gravel. Test how strong that zinc cast slide is. <laughs> Time to go for a ride with my high point. I think it's seen better days. It got good, chewed up. Good thing I took its glamour shot before we got started. <laughs> oh, look at it. It tore up all my vinyl. Okay, give me a second to get this all, all untied. Okay. Look at chewed up all the vinyl. Oh, I wonder if that is gonna catch on fire. You know how much I like fire. Okay, let's get it up to the range. I have three rounds sitting up here on the bench. Let's just pop those ones. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna work because if the dirt didn't fail it, I don't think tumbling around on the rocks is gonna fail it. But it did chew up the, the beautiful Cerakote, Cerakote job. Okay, here we go. Three rounds. Oh, it knocked my sight off. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> okay. I knew it was gonna work. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Well, the trigger is definitely harder to press back. Let's put five more rounds. Let's see if I can get another stoppage with it. Probably would work if I put oil in it. A little bit of oil. A little lube makes everybody happy. Okay, I just loaded it five rounds again. This is again after running it through the gravel on the back of my go-kart. Oh, here we go. Five rounds. But it worked. The next thing is I'm gonna run it over with my tractor. <laughs> so I'm gonna run it over two ways, okay? First time I'm gonna Everyone run over it. the two way. I thought it was a three way, but anyways. Oh uh, wait, a three way, wait, a two way is normal. <laughs> All right, the my cameraman's a little slow. No wonder everyone loves it. He was mine was still on the loop. <laughs> That was four, you went back and forth, that's four times. Uh, okay, let's go over here. Any damage to it? I can't really tell, not really. Just pop my mag out. Ran over with the tractor, yes, front and back, both tires with the slide closed. Only thing that I seen it do was pop my slide, my mag out. Okay, here we go. Worked just fine. Okay, this time mag out or mag in and the slide open, I'm gonna run over it. that that was too easy. Definitely put it through its test today. Here we go. 
Five rounds. Like a champ, ran over it twice with the tractor, ran it through the gravel on my go-kart, ran it through the dirt many, many times, and it still functioned. So have I convinced you to buy a high point? Nope. <laughs> This two pound beast. I can't hold it up like this very long because it is heavy. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.